So now we reach the fundamental problem of higher dimensional graphing. How can you represent a three-dimensional surface on a two-dimensional map without losing vital information? This became important during the Napoleonic era when Napoleon was invading the rest of Europe. It was important to know what was on the other side of the mountain. And so during the Napoleonic Wars, contour maps began to be used. And the basic idea is that every point along a contour line had the same height. Now in mathematics, we call these contour lines level curves. And these represent the portion of a surface that is at a constant height. And stacking these level curves produces the surface. For example, let's consider z equals x squared plus y squared. Let's draw the level curves for z equals negative 1, 0, 1, and 2, and then let's sketch the surface. So if z equals negative 1, the equation becomes x squared plus y squared equals negative 1. And we try and find a point that solves this equation, and there isn't any. If z equals 0, the equation becomes x squared plus y squared equals 0, and we try and find a point that satisfies this equation. And the only point that does is the point 0, 0. And so this level curve is just the point 0, 0. So notice that right now we're graphing in two dimensions. So let's look down at the xy plane and plot the point 0, 0. If z is equal to 1, the equation becomes x squared plus y squared equals 1. And we recognize this as a circle with radius 1 centered at the origin. And we can graph it. If z equals 2, the equation becomes x squared plus y squared equals 2. And this is a circle with radius square root of 2 centered at the origin. And we'll graph that. So what does our surface look like in three dimensions? So since 0, 0 is the only point where z is equal to 0, then the surface includes the point 0, 0, 0. When z was equal to 1, the level curve is a circle. And because z is equal to 1, this circle is at height z equal to 1. So we'll raise that circle up a bit. When z is equal to 2, the level curve is a circle. And again, because z equals 2, this circle is at a height of z equals 2. And so we'll raise our circle up a bit. Now the important thing to keep in mind is that these level curves are on the surface itself. And as long as z is greater than 0, the level curve will be a circle. And if z is negative, there are no points on the curve. And so our surface will look something like this. And we call this type of surface a paraboloid. Now, you might be a little bit suspicious. We introduced this curve on the surface, but this is not the only type of figure that could have a circle as a cross section. And so you might ask, well, how do we know the surface curves? And the answer to that is we can sketch level curves by choosing values for other variables. And in fact, we've already looked at this curve for example, we found that if x is equal to 0, then we're on the yz plane, and the equation will be z equals y squared, which is a parabola. And so we know that our surface has to curve when it goes through the yz plane. So in contrast, we might try to sketch the graph of z squared equals x squared plus y squared. So if we let z equals negative 2, then we get a circle centered at the origin with radius 2. 
If we let z equals negative 1, we get a circle centered at the origin with radius 1. If we let z equals 0, we get a circle centered at the origin with radius 0. Well, this is also known as a point. And if we let z equals 1 or z equals 2, we get a couple more circles. Now, that's if we choose value for z. If we choose values for, say, x, if we let x equal 0, our equation becomes And these are going to be straight lines through the origin in the yz plane. So remember, right now we're looking down on the xy plane. If we want to graph in the yz plane, we're going to shift our perspective and graph. And so if we put our observations together, for any value of z, the equation z squared equals y squared plus x squared corresponds to a circle at the height of z. And if we let x equals 0, we're on the yz plane, and we get the straight lines z equals plus or minus y. And so what our surface has to look like, the circles are raised or lowered until they catch on these straight lines. And we connect the dots, or rather the curves, to form our surface. And we get a cone.